Closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch. Deep free protection from biting insects. We have a little bit of an irregularity here. I set so, the hook so hard on this fish, and I had my drag set tight, that my rod tip snapped. But that's okay. I set it good enough that he's on there. It actually feels like a good size halibut. So I've just converted my six foot some inches rod into a four foot some inch rod. So you can't see the tip because it slipped down the line. You know, I can't get over the technology with the braided lines. I'm using that suffix 832 braid. It's 50 pound test. And it's about the diameter, I think, of 12 or 14 pound monofilament. And it works so good for feeling the bottom. And because it's no stretch, when you're fishing in 250 plus feet of water, you get a really good hook set. You see my rock tip barely <laughs> sitting in the water. You know, this isn't like salmon fishing where the fish are jumping out of the water and stuff. But I'll tell you what, it's challenging nonetheless. <clears throat> Especially when you consider that there's a tide down there moving. And we got a little bit of a breeze. Thank goodness that the breeze settled down a bit. Because we were into some pretty good sized waves. Six, seven foot waves, I think, coming out here to the spot. I got the net ready this time. Yeah. What if it doesn't fit in the net? Oh, I well, think... it's a pretty big net, right? I think we got... Bar maybe in the mix here a little bit. Oh, is that why it's feeling so heavy? No, I see him. I think you might be right. Yeah, there's a, a line down there. Yeah. It's okay, then we'll scoop them up Good here. Good one. Okay, I'll pop the hooks out and get Good. this right out of the way. And here. we'll just give the viewers a quick look at the fish and then we'll let them go. Good thing I brought a spare rod. This thing has been absolutely deadly. Good, yeah, it's a very good jig. That yeah. Jensen jig. Okay, I'm going to hold that on the side here. I'm going to put it in the rod holder. Okay. You can just hold it up, the viewers will see it, and then we'll let it go. It's actually a small fish. It just felt heavy because yeah. of the second line that was on there. <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Okay, Woo. we can let it go. All right. I don't know if you want to put it in the net or just drop it over the side. What would I'll you just, normally do? I'll just put him over the side like this. Okay. We'll... I think he's going to go straight down to the bottom. Look at that. There you, you go. Leave a little your kick. wave and gone. What I'm holding up here, this is a Williamson jig and it's about 12 ounces. And you can see that it's this white color, pearl color on one side and on the other side, it's a nice silver color. But I've got so many fish on it that it's actually taken the silver off and this is from banging the rocks. Now you'll also notice that on this spoon, there's no treble hook on the bottom, unlike the Lure Jensen Stinger. So this one is designed for very large fish. So you can see the heavy 200 pound lanyard and the very large hooks that are on here. So when this is going down through the water, it's less likely to get hung up on the bottom, especially if you're fishing a sticky bottom, which a lot of the bottom fish like. But when a fish goes to hit this, it's likely that it's gonna get one of those single hooks on. So this is excellent if you want a vertical jig. The traditional rig though here is called a spreader. And that's what I've got right here in this hand. So the spreader is very simple. This is the actual spreader. It almost looks like a bottom walking sinker, but there's no sinker here. So just a long arm L shape. This is where your bait is with a uh, artificial squid or a large hoochie. And then here we have a herring that's wrapped up in two hooks. And usually they use anywhere from 50 to 80 pound test monofilament. Then you have a leader that's about three feet long with about a one pound weight. Because a lot of times when you're fishing in two and 300 feet of water, and you have a tide moving through, you can have a two to four mile an hour current. So it's very important to keep contact with the bottom. And you can see from the curl on the bottom that that weight has been hitting the bottom. So this is a very nice rig and it's probably the classic rig when it comes to catching big halibut. You know, one of the things that you definitely do when you're out here fishing the Pacific and especially at Sun's Lodge is take a break in between the salmon bite because the salmon normally don't hit all day long. You have to fish the right tides. And you can come out here and take advantage of bottom fishing. Now, do most of your guests want to catch some of the different bottom fish? Oh, yes. absolutely, yeah. 
What are the most popular ones? Most popular bottom fish would be halibut. That's sort of our main target down there, but there's all sorts of other ones. There's lingcod and uh, yellow eye rockfish are great eating and fun yeah. fish to catch. And I suspect the ones we've got on here, Pacific cod, we get some of them around too. Good. The whole Good. variety of stuff down there. Right now we've got great conditions because you can see the water's fairly flat. The tide isn't really ripping. So it's really difficult to feel the bottom if the tide is moving too fast. So you know what's neat, Barb and I were fishing in the Atlantic for cod just last weekend. And the cod look very similar. You know, they're great eating. I was asking Jeff if a lot of people target them, like living here in uh, BC, and he said not really. So we looked them up in the book because I said, you know, they're really good eating. And in the book they say they're one of the nicest eating fish that you can get right here off the Pacific coast. Jeff's got two. How do you do that, Jeff? I got two and Barb, actually. That's wow. what I thought. Yeah, that's yeah. impressive, isn't it? Or is <laughs> one of those Barb's? No, they're both yours. So both one, mine one and, hook, uh, one the other hook. Yeah, I got a double header here all by myself. <laughs> Amazing. And this was the first drop. <laughs> yeah, now, that's interesting. If we're going to keep some for eating, should we put them in a box? Where do you want us to put them? Uh, yeah, we have a box down here, so we'll... Okay, um, perfect. 